What's up everyone? Welcome back to The Daily Sean. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Sean. I do a daily video on something related to nursing. No rhyme or reason, probably won't change. Interesting topic. This was a question posed to me on Snapchat and I felt so strongly about it, I wanted to share it with all of you. I actually asked for your opinion. The question is, if I'm afraid of blood, can I still become a nurse? And I would like to extrapolate this to if I'm afraid of bodily fluids, blood, vomit, spit, mucus, take your pick. If someone's afraid of that or if someone has a vagal response to some of these bodily fluids, can they still become a nurse? Can they still be a nurse? My initial gut reaction was yes. Why not? I'm talking from personal experience. Before I became a nurse, whenever I was exposed to, heard, or smelled somebody vomiting, saw it on the ground, heard it, anything related to vomit, I would actually have to excuse myself because I would start dry heaving. <laughs> I would actually start doing that whenever I saw it on television, if I heard somebody dry heaving, if I heard somebody vomiting, if I smelled it, if I see it, I'm gonna do it. But somehow, I overcame that fear. I wish I could tell you how I did it, other than I just basically sucked it up. Bad analogy. Wow, that was a bad analogy. I basically had to tough it out and figure out how to not have that response. So if you have a response to seeing blood or guts and you see somebody bleeding and all of you and and you faint you have a vasovagal response to it you're gonna have to condition yourself to accept it I had given the suggestion of looking at it from a purely physiological perspective that blood is in our body for a reason oxygenation blah 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 circulation carrying red blood cells and plasma platelets Look at it from a pure physiological perspective that that may help you cross the barrier. And quite honestly, you might be able to just get through nursing school and never, never have to experience it again. Or at least you can try your best to not experience it because you don't have to deal with the blood and the guts and the vomit and the mucus because not every nurse has to deal with the blood, the guts, the mucus, and the vomit on a daily basis. There are non-clinical positions for nurses. There are nurses who do research. There are nurses that work purely in an office. There are nurses that work in other roles that are not exposed to those bodily fluids or are exposed to them very minimally. Opportunities still exist. So my answer would be yes. I think you can still become a nurse. I still think you can contrib contribute greatly to this profession. You're just going to have to do a little bit of soul searching and self-assessment. Love to hear what the tribe has to say about this one. Have you yourself had to overcome this kind of fear? Do you know someone that had to overcome this kind of fear? And if so, how did they do it? What are some of the secrets? Because I'm pretty sure there are plenty of individuals out there that are interested in becoming a nurse and per pursuing this profession but have a genuine fear of certain aspects of this job. Choir minds want to know. Love hearing from you. Leave me a comment down below. Always appreciate a thumbs up. Your comments are my caffeine. Share this with somebody. And as always, check your own pulse first.